all right saturday about 10 a.m we're gonna go get some breakfast got a big day ahead of us i bought this shad case from facebook marketplace for 80 dollars so the guy just wanted to get rid of it he never used it so i took advantage comes with a back pad too you know all the hardware is here pretty nice I think it retails over uh, two hundred dollars, so eighty dollars shipped. That's a damn good deal. So you never know what you'll find in Facebook Marketplace. So let me see my phone. Let me lock this in place. I don't have the uh, the ram mount on because uh, I want you guys to look at the. Uh, you can see the dash better. I don't really need the cell phone on there anyway. I can just put it here. So, we're gonna go get some breakfast. And like typical scooter fashion, we're just wearing gloves, maybe long sleeves, helmet. Uh, what do you call these things? Sandals, you know. <laughs> Definitely not proper motorcycle gear or scooter gear, but that's the uh, beauty of scooters. You don't have to wear all that crap because it's not a it's not a serious deal. Although if you uh, if you wipe out, you're gonna get hurt pretty badly. But you know, give or take. All right. I haven't ridden the X Max in a while. Well, actually, I haven't ridden in a while because it's so fucking hot here in Houston. Um, our heat index is over 110 degrees. Right now, what do we have? Uh, info. I'm not even looking at the streets. 80 degrees and it's 10 o'clock. That thing's going to hit over 110 this afternoon. And it won't get cooler until the sundown around 7.30. So... Yeah, that's why I haven't been riding. It's just way too hot. Not fun. And you're just surviving. That was a biker cop. Alright, put my Pfizer down so you guys hopefully can hear me better. We got a different mic set up now, so hopefully this works better. I'm still using the GoPro mic adapter, but uh, I looped it around right, the, the microphone's right under my mouth, close to my chin. And I'm speeding. beautiful day it's just way too fucking hot man i can't wait till it starts cooling down and around uh late october here in texas then i'll really start riding i want to go on a, a touring trip with a scooter either with the x max or the bergman 650 but i think the wife wants to go to colorado instead but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Maybe I can do both five times. You know what? I think I can make it work. Hopefully it doesn't snow too much in Colorado in uh, November. I think that's where I'm gonna where I'm gonna go to Colorado. And maybe just do a long weekend on the, the Bergman. Let's go to West Texas. I mean, not West Texas. Hill Country, Texas. Let's revisit that place. Beautiful area. 83 degrees. You all see how fast this uh, speedometer go up? 
this thing is quick for a 300 cc scooter that's one of the main reasons i sold the hooligan uh when you take it out here on the highway because i live in uh you know close to highway six you have to get on highway six all the time it's, it doesn't have enough acceleration to or or top speed to uh to keep up with the traffic here it's kind of dangerous so i wonder how the uh sound is the wind noise hopefully it's okay There shouldn't be much because the microphone's inside my helmet. It's actually right on the uh, the chin curtain. So we're going to the uh, the Stripes or Laredo Taco over here in this direction because the one that I usually go to sucks balls. This one over here is slightly better, but I've I've visited way better stripes in the uh, Laredo taco areas but this uh this is what we have in our neighborhood usually the one hopefully the one uh that's opening five minutes from my house is is gonna be good which i, I doubt that's gonna be uh, a good one <laughs> the uh the quality ever since sam susser sold it to uh sunoco then sunoco selling it to 7-eleven it's gone downhill like significantly 7-eleven is a horrible horrible company by the way they treat their employees like shit it's, god damn it's already 86 <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling it i'm feeling the sun getting warmer so I, I'm just gonna go order six bacon egg and cheese tacos with with the uh, the vegetables I forgot what it's called I guess it's called the pico de gallo I'm telling you uh, that is one of the best breakfast or uh, brunch meals uh, of all time breakfast tacos from Laredo taco Either that or just got used to it. You know, I I, eat, I ate that for uh, <laughs> about five years when I used to work for them. Not for Laredo Taco, but for their uh, corporate mother company. Wow. Too hot to play golf. 87 oh my god really dude 87 you know what i didn't eat it's not even 10 o'clock it's only 9 30 what the hell <sighs> jesus it's gonna be a hot one today 110 degrees i was planning on riding and taking this to sam houston forest park but uh, i actually drove by over there and uh there's way too much construction in the area so it's it's a little little dicey well that's a rare car let's see a uh, 3000 gt by mitsubishi I haven't seen those since uh early 90s or mid 90s but uh those are pretty rare see where we can park this thing we park right here Ugh. I'm not gonna bring my helmet inside guys uh, you I usually do but a lot of people don't like being filmed oh my god the killer dog behind me
My dog barks louder. All right, got my tacos. Unfortunately, they ran out of uh, bacon, egg, and cheese. Going back home. Going back home. Yeah, I got my breakfast, then I'm going back home. <laughs> Have a good one. Thank you. All right. All right. Like I was saying. <laughs> they don't have my flavor it ran out. It's a uh, it's a little late. So I got there at 9 30 breakfast starts at uh four o'clock for uh, that restaurant. So That's uh, my fault I wanted to sleep in because I was playing uh, uh, I wasn't actually playing uh, uh, PUBG last night. I was uh, freaking watching uh, the WWE channel on YouTube late last night. I was watching uh, bunch of classic matches because uh, they just released it on the YouTube channel all right 88 degrees so in a matter of about 15 minutes temperature went up 8 degrees in this Sun oh my god it is brutal brutal Yeah, definitely if you live in a, in a city like this and you have the highway, you have to get with a, on a highway speeds and keep up with traffic, the, the hooligan is just not going to cut it. I mean, if the speed limits were around 40, you know, or 50 at most in, uh, in your city or highway, yeah, the hooligan will be fine. But over here, the speed limit is 50, but people are going 70 miles per hour because it's Texas and people don't give a shit. Uh, yeah, you need something bigger, much faster. So, which is too bad. I really like the hooligan. Uh, maybe if I find something cheap online, I will just just go ahead and pounce on that. You know, it would have been better if that thing was liquid cooled, though. I don't like the way that uh, you know the uh, hooligan was not liquid cooled. I guess it adds to the cost and uh, complexity. No scrapey scrapey with X Max. This thing corners pretty well, like a almost like a sports bike. And it's very light. Yeah, this, these uh, scooters are really easy to ride. For those of you guys ride scooters, you already know that. It's just the problem is these fucking assholes like this van behind me tailgating my ass, you know. The problem is, you know, getting run over by, uh, by cars because they're not paying attention and they're always on their cell phones. So it's, that's the uh, dangers of riding a scooter. Everything else is, everything else is pretty chill. It's actually very easy, easy going. <sighs> it's hot. After this, I'm gonna go eat my breakfast. Then I'm gonna go to Costco and do battle with the crowd over there. Uh, I broke my office chair <laughs> yesterday during a, a web conference call. It was a video conference call too. It was pretty embarrassing. But uh, that thing, I've had that thing for about maybe three or four years and uh it's only i think i only paid for for it for thirty dollars so the backrest just snapped off so that wasn't a good experience i thought it was funny but you know i don't really care if people saw me fall <laughs> uh, 
it was just a department uh, meeting anyway. All right, let's go home. Look at that, look how easy I'm at going 65 miles per hour. This thing is so quick. Yeah, the only downside of this X-Max is just the uh, high seat height. It's also wide between the legs. Uh, not like the Bergman, and the Bergman's a bigger scooter. Bergman has a little cutout for your leg, so, you know, it'll fall straight, so you can flat foot the floor. But, uh, so, cons, high seat height, high price. The leg room, it could be better, considering the size of this thing. But, uh, you know, it is still the best scooter in the market right now in America. Uh, I was planning on getting a buying a T-Max 530 earlier this year, but, you know, uh, and I could have gotten for cheap, too, if it was only $4,000. Uh, but the Bergman 650 was a way better scooter. Easy. <laughs> Easy. And I'm speeding. I just left everyone behind. I don't know if you see them. Yeah, this thing's pretty quick. Cars can't keep up with it. You know, before this pandemic, we used to have farmer's market here every other Saturday. Now it's gone. I think they moved it somewhere else and then they completely canceled it because of the pandemic. But uh, it was a nice thing to, to visit every Saturday morning. You know, people would sell their produce, their trinkets, their wine, and whatever shit they sold over there. Probably, uh, I bought some lemonade too. My God, that lemonade was $5, but... Holy crap, that was the best lemonade that I ever tasted. It was a 32 ounce cup and the lemonade was just simply amazing. It was perfect. It's too bad. They don't sell them anymore. Hurry up, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> that uh, <laughs> that speed trap or uh, the speed sensor doesn't even pick up the X-Max because it's so small. It was just saying 40 for the car when I was going 55. <laughs> you see the, uh, the roads over here are not in the perfect condition. It's kind of bouncy. The X-Max just takes it like a champ. Like a champ. <laughs> See if we can pass these guys. Nope. Oh, my turn's right there. Why are you going so fucking slow, guy? You're fucking up my video. <laughs> That's all right. He's got a really nice truck. That's a uh, Ram Longhorn Laramie 4x4. Mm. Bet that thing's fully loaded too. What's this guy? G80. That's another nice car. So riding scooters is just like riding uh, jet skis. Very easy. But you know, unlike jet skis, if you fall down or fall off your ride, you'll get hurt. <laughs> That's why we wear protective gear. Ay, 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 ay. 
Now there's hostess over there. Let's go this way. Yeah, this thing's really maneuverable. All right, I'm gonna park it right here. I'm gonna go eat my breakfast and uh, put it away. I have got to go to Costco. <sighs> I think that's a it's an American tradition. You just gotta go to Costco on the weekend and load up on toilet paper. Shut up, dude. Stop beeping. Yeah. Oh, it's like a needy girlfriend or a needy child. Like you go away. <laughs> it's a needy bike. <sighs> All right, let me show you guys what I got. Shut up, shut up, I'm here. Shh, shh, shh. Put that there, put that here with me. So, I got three chorizo tacos and two beef fajita tacos. That's gonna go down real good. Mm. Anyways, that's the X-Max. The, uh, the, sh the Shad mount is gonna be coming in later on today. I'll mount it on the back and then I'll see if that Shad looks good on the, uh, the X-Max. Yeah. Gonna be a busy day for me. Alright guys.